Welcome to the Fox 59 Marketplace. We are here today with Shelby Lane. She is a physician's assistant at Ortho Indy Urgent Care. And today we are talking about elbow and wrist sprains with kids, pretty common here. Yeah, we see a lot of those in the urgent care here at Ortho Indy. They usually happen from kids, you know, falling off of playground equipment or um, injuring themselves in a sport. It's really common um, and it's one of the most common things that we see. And it's pretty tough to tell the difference between a sprain and a fracture, right? So sprains and fractures can be hard to distinguish in the pediatric population because kids don't always swell like adults do. So if your child has obvious swelling, that's a good indication that something might be going on. On top of that, you know, if they're just guarding their arm, they're not wanting to use it, those are signs that tell us and should tell a parent, hey, we better get this looked at. Always putting ice on that first before they come on in, right? Absolutely, so that should always be a first sign of treatment. If you know that your child has fallen or even, you know, maybe they're just complaining of some wrist or elbow pain from sports, putting ice on it should be the first thing that you always do at home. Now, is the recovery time different between fractures and sprains? Yeah, so it can be. The problem is that kids usually try to get back faster to their activity with a sprain. A fracture is usually a minimum of four weeks. It's going to be immobilized in a cast or something like that. Whereas in a splint, kids are kind of, they get back to sport or activity a little faster and then um, it takes a little bit longer to heal. Great information, Thanks. Shelby. And for more information, you can check them out online at orthoindy.com today.